My name is Lydia Baxter and I'm the Wild at Ooze Project Officer for the Sussex Wildlife Trust. The main aim for our project is that we're hoping to bring communities, landowners, land managers together to connect nature uh, through wildlife corridors and try and increase climate resilience of our catchment of the Ooze River. We mainly advise with landowners trying to help them figure out how they can best help nature where we can be aware of the needs of the landowner and the needs of nature and try and provide the best help in whatever way we can. And then we hope to deliver physically in person with our volunteers who come and help the Wild Ooze project. Currently we are on one of the farms that we've been working with for the last five years. In this case, the landowner reached out to us. She really wanted to see what she could do to bring nature back. She didn't want to stop farming. She wanted to bring farming and nature together. We had a really good discussion about what sorts of things she could do whilst doing nature-friendly farming, um, and the relationship has sort of just grown from there. We are aiming to help with natural flood management, creating uh, pollinator habitat, and we'd also like to increase water quality here. Uh, in the last century, unfortunately, this area was felled and land drains were installed, but they haven't been built to last. So now what's happening is they're becoming compromised. They're generating these sinkholes, which is not only an issue for livestock, it's also an issue for machinery where tra tractors can get stuck. And we're also finding that the water is very stagnant here where it's sitting for long periods of time and it's becoming anoxic. So here you can see that there's this reddy brown color and there's an awful lot of life that is unfortunately slowly dying off in this water. And that's due to the low oxygen levels um, of the water just sitting here with no clean flow. It's also not um, being filtered as the water's going through. So it's allowing all sorts of pollutants to enter the brook at the bottom of this field. Here we're looking at what we call some cascading scrapes. They uh, essentially hold the runoff water that was forced up from the ground when we bunged up those land drains that we were talking about earlier. And the whole idea is they not only slow the flow by holding lots of water in each individual scrape, of which there are many in a series, but by adding these brush bundles that you can see, they're helping to filter that water out and make it far cleaner. So by the time it reaches the brooks at the bottom of the field, that water quality has greatly increased. One of the really nice benefits of creating these little wetland areas is that we're attracting all sorts of species that may not have been welcomed here before. As you can hear, hopefully, we've got skylark now. They have not been recorded on this site for around 30 years. So just by making these areas and inviting nature back, we're having a lot more life present on site. We've also found owl pellets nearby. We've got water boatmen, as we can see right here. Uh, in January, we came and visited the site and we could see that there was frog spawn. And later on, we came back to check and they had indeed turned into little frogs. Um, so we've had all sorts of life be encouraged back and it's really great just to see how quickly nature is waiting on the sidelines, ready for you to say, yes, you can come back and enjoy this area. And here we have planted a wonderful traditional hedgerow. Hedgerows are great because they not only provide a valuable source of uh, food for pollinators through their flowering, um, but they also take up lots and lots of water. So they are a great way to do natural flood management. Wilder Ooze project covers the entire headwaters, tributaries and the whole catchment of the Ooze River. You can get involved with the project in a number of ways. So we do have a volunteer team and we're open to anybody applying. Uh, there is no such thing as having too little experience. The whole idea is we want to connect people with nature. This year we're hoping that we're going to be able to help about 30 or so landowners go to our landowner inquiry page which is on the Sussex Wildlife Trust page and you can do that simply by typing landowner inquiry Sussex Wildlife Trust into Google and you should find a form which you can then fill out. We do also work with small community groups so if you have a community land holding that you would really like to see do more for nature then we'd be more than happy to help if it's within the used catchment and then hopefully we can be in touch very soon. Mm -hmm.